the intensified, more frequent testing of Chinese athletes and swimmers this time around is a good way for China to prove its own cleanness. And then, uh, and then the result will tell, will speak for everything. And also at the same time, I think the Chinese swimming system has more to do. I, I just mentioned that you have a very international team. You should allow your international experts and foreign coaches to explain, to review all the data, how many hours you train, and all the details of your athletes and with videos and, and numbers to tell the world and how hard you have been training. Once a young, talented swimmer spends very long hours in the water, don't be too, too surprised by his result. There is this stigma that is there, even though they are the most tested, even though there have been Olympic officials that have come out and said that yes, they are the most tested, yes, there is no red flags, yes, there are no positives yet, but still, when it comes on this stage as the most prestigious of races, whether it be the 100 meters or certainly from a team perspective, the four by 100, when the race that has the most scrutiny is won by someone in such dominating fashion and such historic fashion, that's where all of the emphasis is gonna mm -hmm. be. And that's where it is right now. Certainly the spotlight shines the, shine, is, shines the brightest, but if there are no positive tests to come of this, then of course, they get the headlines and they get the glory. I think WADA is, is you know, it's a, it's a, it's a robust, uh, long-serving uh, association. I mean, they, you know, this is their sole job is to protect athletes and protect the sport from any indiscretion. So, I think, you know, no one wants to lose, and I think everybody wants to find fault in the system to prove that they're better. I don't, you know, I, I don't. I hope that's not really the case. But I, I have to believe that uh, that WADA is is at no fault. Uh, maybe they need to up up upscale their their uh, their testing mechanisms in the future. I don't believe that's the case because they've been doing this for so long. So, you know, I, I think I, I truly believe that the Chinese team is is clean. They won that they won these events or are winning these events fair and square. I think they're competing on the same platform and playing field as every other athlete at these games. China is becoming a, a powerhouse in the world of sport and obviously in the world of swimming. And this is new and this is scary for the dominating nations.